nice to meet you. My name. There's something you didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him! That green guy! He looked just like that guy down there! What? His footprints lead to this wall. Did he climb up from here? What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the Divine Archon still walked the Earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, 
but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The Lion Fang perished, and the Falcon Flag slept. As a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in Lone Stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bards soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber, only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe his cries. are oh that's right you're the ones that scared Devalin away Devalin? who's that huh oh right most people seem to call him storm terror why do you call him that are you two meant to be close or something oh so close hey so Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. I'm Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. Of course it's about Storm Terror! Storm? Hey! Cut it with the Amnesia Act! All right, show it to him. Oh, isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified? When? Tavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Devalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. I really must thank you for purifying the teardrop crystal. It has helped me greatly. But I've already come to devise my own plan. Oh, and what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going. Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye Huh, what do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Know what? Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? Oh, Paimon knows! It's that 
huge tree. You know the gigantic. You're back. Looks like you got the intel. Yes and no. It's a lot more complicated than that. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What do you make of it? Riddles. How quaint. <laughs> Let me think. The city in the lake is clearly Mondstadt. As for the six-armed giants... Hey, that's smart. A windmill has six blades. It fits. Wow, that makes sense! So out of the three windmills, two are close to the statue. The other one is guarding... Ooh, ooh, this one Paimon knows, the treasure! <laughs> let's hope it's really that simple. Come on, let's go take a look around that windmill! She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. There's another map! More riddles? Paimon's dizzy already! Oh no! Paimon used up all her brain juice! Paimon will let you have all the fun! Or you could get Kaya to help!
Swift and merciful. Ad Astra Abbott. Thank you. 
she doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. Any idea what that means? Is this some page stripped from a love novel that you just happened to find? Oh, so it's not a clue. No wonder someone as clever as Paimon wasn't able to get it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Hmm. Take this more seriously, Kaya. <laughs> this riddle is hard to figure out. Clear Spring. Is it referring to Springvale? Passion rushing through the clear spring. So when does passion rush through a clear spring? Not a bad idea. Like when uh, there's a waterfall, for example. It appears the solution to this enigma relates to the waterfall behind Springvale. Only the clear spring that blesses Mondstadt can reveal the passion described here. And the heart of the waterfall must refer to the cliff on the left side of the waterfall. I noticed it once when I was out on patrol in the area. The ending, cold and alone, probably has something to do with cryo, which can be controlled by a vision. You should probably take someone who can manipulate cryo with you. It's nothing. If a knight of Favonius couldn't even answer a riddle, how could we be trusted to- Let's go take a look in Springvale. Uh, um... Uh, no, wait! Um, leave you to solving your criminal ma- Hello. May the animal archon protect you. My plane. A touch of frost. Yeah. <laughs> 
It sure took a lot of work. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. So, now... You read my mind! Paimon's so happy! Let's go for it! Don't want anyone else to get there before we... Like... Like, anyways, Paimon just wants to borrow the sword to... Uh, no! You... <laughs> Definitely not... <laughs> Arcadian treasure? One with my blade. Arcadian ruins. Is it just me? Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, mice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us.
This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Oh yeah, rock on! You came! Touch of frost. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Huh? Yeah. Huh? One with my blade. Yeah. I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Ah, uh, we've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However, they're not as uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade, but your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them in Mondstadt prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Treasure! Get him! Oh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry, but there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Huh. <laughs> it got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. 
A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the Knights of Favo- Wait, what are you- You're not gonna get me! Okay, oh god, what, what is this? I didn't mean it! <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, Knight! You're not gonna watch me die, are ya? Hmm, what an interesting suggestion. Fine! I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me! All right then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. From whence you came! Oh, it's for Midnight Phantasmagoria! Uh. How embarrassing, having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised, or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. Ah, you're a bad man for lying to me! Shame on the knights! All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise you would have informed me of your intentions, no? Just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve a reward. This is the triumphant harbinger of dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this harbinger of dawn as a reward. Harbinger of dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself, wouldn't you say, Paimon? Well, if the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now. I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance.
revealed by the about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people of the Adventurer's Guild are absolutely
by royal decree. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, insubordination! By royal decree!
I created another universe and founded paradise. For I, Fischl, am the princess and defer- er
do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence.
hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. There's only one way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're gonna do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? Yeah, but what's that gotta do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt herself. So, what do you say? Woohoo! Good answer! Prepare for takeoff! Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that gliding license is yours. Natural. I knew you'd be fine. All that's left now is to grab ourselves a raptor. Let's go!
It looks like there's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be Raptor! You can't escape! <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh, it is pretty high. And quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry, I promise that once the Grandmaster gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! <sighs> You're right. Ugh, he's right there in front of us. If only we could glide across. <sighs> so how did he get across? Can you see anything with your elemental sight? No? Oh, okay. Never mind. Bye-bye, kiddo. Oh, no! He's getting away! Ugh, we can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. But... but... Don't worry. I'm the gliding champion of Mondstadt, remember? If Raptor can do it, I can do it too. Oi, Outrider! You have less chance of surviving this than jumping off the Animo God statue in Mondstadt without your wind glider. <laughs> Paimon sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is... Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was the gliding? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their... Re <sighs> Be my witness. Raptor says I'll never make it. But... If you listen carefully... Wait! Stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... The wind... The wind says I will make it! And that's good enough for me! jumped otherwise the wind takes care of those who have courage now sit Still and await your arrest, like a good little boy. You're open. from in the air, and it's the only one. It would be suicide to try and escape in the direction Raptor was going. In other words, the only way Raptor could have gotten out would be this way, past us. Aha! So he was just trying to fool us by acting smug, in the hope that we would just give up and leave. Little did he know, we're not so easily fooled. It was 
was all thanks to your sharp thinking. Just like a wise man once said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. At the end of the day, gliding is seven parts technique, three parts instinct, and then 90 parts courage. What you did now looked more like 99 parts courage. Ah, uh, it was just like in my first gliding exam. I was super nervous, but in the end, there was nothing to be afraid of, and I passed no problem. I kind of missed that nervous rush in the exams I've done since then. It just wasn't the same. Um, sorry. Paimon thought you said you passed no problem. What do you mean exams since then? Uh, well, you see, the thing is, Mondstadt is all no glide zone this, no landing zone that. <sighs> Every time I get my license, it keeps getting revoked. I must have taken the exam about 15 times altogether. But I always pass the first time. I guess my little gliding manual ain't so bad after all. Let's go and get a copy of the real gliding manual from Acting Grandmaster Jean sometime. I'll head off first because I need to escort Raptor back to the city. Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding license there. <sighs> she just can't sit still, can she? Guess that's why she's the outrider. When this is all done and dusted, let's head to the cathedral in Mondstadt. <sighs> Getting this gliding license has turned into quite the adventure. Conversation this is stupid city so boring. Interesting. Report it to the church. Congratulations! Here is your gliding license. You're officially legal now. Yay! 
I'm not surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship. I glide so fast that no one can keep up. It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around. Whoa, fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding gliding experience. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Devalin? Oh, uh, it's because gods... Um... Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. The wind! I can't open my eyes! What is a creature like that doing out here in such a calm place? You think it was going after that green guy? His relationship with the wind seems even deeper than yours. <sighs> hey, not the guitar! The dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. 
nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Dvalin earlier, but was... interrupted. As a result, not only did I not manage to help Dvalin break his curse, but instead was also... Yes, it was you! So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel. Anything the knights can do for you. So this Holy Liar de Hamel is... One of the most treasured items in Mondstadt. It's the liar that Barbados used to play. With it, perhaps I can help Dvalin draw his gentle nature back out of this nightmare he's going through. Will it really stop Storm Terror from causing more damage? Of course! I'm the best bard in the world. There's not a single song I do not know, no matter if it's from the past, present, or future. Look me in the eyes. Do you not find me trustworthy? So how can we get the Holy Liar? It's said that it's enshrined deep within the cathedral, somewhere safe. I'll go take a look around. You can come if you want.
We meet again, Avid. Are your adventures going smoothly? It is always that way when you are starting out. Preparing properly before an adventure can help things go more smoothly. It seems that you have a wealth of experience under your belt now. Time to introduce you to the formal work of the Guild. The Guild receives requests from far and wide each day, and assigns commissions to adventurers accordingly. These commissioned adventures are the main source of compensation for our guild members. What kind of commissions are they? It is a mixed bag. Anything from running an errand for fellow citizens to dealing with monsters. Some are textbook, others are extremely dangerous. But you do not have to take my word for it. You should find out for yourself. Here you can find the details of today's commissions. Please report back to me upon completion. There will be a generous reward waiting for you. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. I await your return with great anticipation. Ad Astra Abyssosk. hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. Take your pick. You'll find no second-rate items at Wang. Welcome to Mondstadt. Whatever's going on.
over there. Looks pretty rock and roll to me. the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon! Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature! Is it edible? No! For the last time, Paimon is not emergency food! You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Goba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life, and I don't want to miss out. Oh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest ha- <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it!
of it all deep fry. Yay! You have finally come around to my food preferences! Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me what you think. Are we your food testers now? Oh, gosh. This is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure. The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm. I got it. I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. And there's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. If they all ran off, it would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draff. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should... <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go!
must be Xiangling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person... Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please, help me promote my meat! Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwe Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best-loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm... I don't know. I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... <clears throat> What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. <sighs> well... Since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. You know, we did come to apologize. Couldn't you be a little more flexible? It's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? <sighs> Sorry, I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow, it must be delicious if it's that popular. Yeah, good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm. Maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on. Are you... Sheng Ling? That's me! It's really you! Well, I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? The melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I've tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some Joyun chilies grown at a high altitude, where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender, freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. Uh, that's pure overkill! You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever! 
Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop arguing! <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off! Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that giraffe was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wanmin menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wanmin menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. Hmm. It's a deal! I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you all... Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up. I created another universe.
Gotcha! Submit for judgment! Fourth, my blade!
Rest for the wicked.
reveal thyself. Such a frost.
Whence you came! My royal shadow raven, let night fall! I summon her! Swift and merciful. Power core. By royal decree.
You did a fine. The requester even asked me. And, as promised, You shouldn't have. This is a token of the guilt we receive. If you complete enough commissions each day, your adventurer handbook keeps a record of how many adventures you... Make sure you claim your daily rewards on the days that you complete sufficient... You are more than welcome. After all... And please note that helping a fellow adventurer to complete a commission also counts... We encourage you to work act... Astra
ride on wind and cloud alike. Sister? May the Animo God bless you, young bard. How can I help you? Actually, I know a secret that can save Mondstadt from its current predicament. Oh, what a blessing from the God of Animo! But you should report that to the Knights of Favonius. Why have you come to me? <laughs> because you, dear sister, are able to help! I'd like to borrow the Holy Liar. With it, I'll be able to help Storm Terror. Please see yourselves out. What? It's a vicious dragon indeed, but once the acting Grandmaster makes up her mind, nothing can stand in the knight's way. That's simply not acceptable. Wouldn't Storm Terror end up getting killed that way? That foolish beast betrayed the winds. Not even the god of Animo themselves would forgive it. Uh, please, I beg of you. I'm afraid not, little bard. Strange. Somehow I feel so bad rejecting this sweet child. Then, I guess I'm left with no other choice. I cannot hide anymore. My disciples, rejoice! Behold, the god of Animo, Barbados, has descended! Shocked, aren't you? Don't you just want to cry out and rejoice? How does it feel to finally meet the god you've been serving? If there's nothing else, I'll be going back to handle the cathedral's paperwork now. Oh, wait! Huh? She didn't even bat an eyelid. But I have at least learned what I wanted to know. She didn't deny that the cathedral is enshrining the Holy Liar. Now, since you're the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius, maybe you can give it a shot. Barbados bless you. I know you. You and Amber saved Mondstadt that day. So what brings you here? Tasks from the acting Grand Master? Is that so? Not that I don't trust you. It's just that a suspicious bard came looking to borrow the Holy Liar as well. He's full of nonsense and even called himself Barbados. He must be up to something. There are regulations in place for the use of the Holy Liar. Currently, it's only used in Ludihar Pastum. Signed documents from the Grand Master, Seneschal, and Community Representative are all required. So, may I see the document from the Knights of Favonius? A signed document is required. Without it, there's not much I can do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really am quite busy as of late. <laughs> It didn't work. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it? I just wanted to know how influential the hotshot of the Knights of Favonius is. You see, the best warrior should always be presented with the best sword. And yet here we are. Does the story not make for a fitting ballad? So what are you trying to say? That we're not good enough? No, that's not it. More of a commentary regarding Mondstadt's inability to see the warrior standing right before its very eyes. Very well. Looks like borrowing it is not going to be possible. We're simply going to have to steal it. Today we stand for free will. Any suggestion? Come now, speak up. That's what free will is. <laughs> Look at you, sidetracked from the start. But seriously, you're more suitable for the job than I. Aside from singing, I don't really have any other talents. Besides, if I was caught, I'd have no one to write the grave injustice of my arrest. How can it be a grave injustice if you got caught stealing red-handed? But things are different for you. You are the superstar of the Knights. Should you get caught, you would easily be able to t The guards here, it seems they're off duty throughout the night. If we manage to seize this opportunity, it should be smooth sailing from here. Stop mentioning us getting caught! 
what do you say? Ah, uh, yes. Seems I did mention that, your point being. Why does your decision hinge upon whether or not I am a god? Paimon will fill you in on her background story when we get the time. Huh? One with my blade. Thank mm -hmm. you. 